guys we did have out there, they played, you know, to their full potential, they played great. So, I mean, we can't really look back and say what if. How hard was it? I mean, I, I know you had to miss some time before, but those moments, I mean, how do you get through those moments when you, you want to go and you just I mean, it is what it is. I can't, there's nothing I can do. Just everything happens for a reason. I know we asked you this once, but if you could jar my memory here, the, the warm-ups of UMass, what was it? You were a team captain and there was a scratch. What was, what happened to you in those warm-ups? I was just doing a tackling drill and my foot was already bothering me. And when we were doing the tackling drill, it just started hurting worse. And then they went and x-rayed it, and there it was. What's the best part of your game? Best part of my game, I would say my aggression. Uh, I don't mind contact at all, so I would say that's, that's what I like the most. So you've been that way since you were little, or is that something you ever had to work on? Or something uh, like no, nah, that's just really been me. That's just what I did. Is there anything different about you guys defensively from last year, just whether it's depth or, or demeanor or anything like that? Is there anything that's changed? I think we got a lot of depth, and uh, I think we're, you know, we're emphasizing, you know, pressures, uh, you know, giving, giving the offense negative plays. With all, I'm sorry. That's been more of an emphasis this year. With all the talk about Havoc, will there be any kind of disappointment if you don't get like close to the numbers that, that you guys have kind of been uh, aiming for? I mean, of course. Like, I mean, we've been working all summer for this, and this is what we want. We've been working ever since the Sugar Bowl ended, and when you work with something, you want to accomplish your goals. Do you think, what's your vibe for practices in terms of how effective it's been? Uh, we need to, we need, definitely need to be uh, practice better than what we have been doing on defense. But uh, I don't know, everybody's going to play hard. This uh, Vanderbilt offense, I mean, they've got good players at every level. Uh, obviously, you're not sure about quarterback with those guys. But what, just what's your thoughts on, on uh, you know, you got Pink, Pink at uh, tight end, wide receiver, running back, obviously. What, what's your thoughts on that offense? Yeah, they got some big guys. They're running back, uh, Vaughn, Keyshawn, he's very good. You know, he's a hard runner. I, I kind of, like, look at him kind of like a only field type running back except faster. But, um, and then you, obviously the tight end field, you can go up and get the ball. And then the other receiver, the limbs are going to be play on the edge. So we got, we got to test. What's going to be the key to controlling, you know, that, that offense with that many, you know, uh, skill players? Yeah, just go out there and execute the call. Because Landon calls this call, or he calls this call. Just go out there and execute it, just like we're done. How much do you, I guess, I don't know if enjoy is the right word, but you've got these outside linebackers now that, you know, they, they seem to have some pretty tremendous attributes. And I'm sure you, when you watch film, you see these young guys or the new guys, Jim Johnson. What are your thoughts on just what they can bring to the table and how that might change your defense a little bit? I mean, I think we're so special about those guys because they are uh, and they're all athletic and they're all women. So, you know, they can really cause a lot of havoc on other teams. So it'll be interesting to see. What's it like when it's this deep group of running backs you guys have, what's it like on the inside? It's always a challenge because you, you know, especially in covers, like you never know what they're about to do. Like Swift is going to come with something different. Cook might run, just run, run right by you. Zamir is going to do his thing. And then there's Brian. And then there's even Prager. So <laughs> you got to stay below. What do you expect to see from the Kobe team on Saturday? I expect him to play hard like y'all did, to make plays, run to the ball, and be effective like y'all did. It's year three with you and Tay kind of being teammates, and, and you guys are lining up a lot beside each other out there. What how have you seen him grow grow at, at, at that inside linebacker position? And, and do you kind of, do you see a different player than than at first? Yeah, um, Tay's a lot different from when I first got here. Uh, he knows the scheme way better than he did when I first got here. He, he's a playmaker. He, he's very effective in coverage. You know, with him, he's an athlete, so he has good ball skills. You know, he played halfback in high school, so he's. Uh, Real like, athletic, and he can pass, rush, cover, and run down here and make plays for us in the box. So he can do a stable of things. Who knows the defense better, you or him? Me. <laughs> I was going to say, as much as you've improved it, and I know you don't get into the outside media too much, but you weren't first, second, or third team. Do you think maybe you get a little overlooked because you didn't finish last season? I mean, I, I didn't even know I wasn't first, second, or third team, but I mean, it is what it is. It ain't my job to pick it, you know. I just go out there and play. You mentioned always being aggressive. Yeah, you, did you learn like you had to make sure you were aggressive the right way, or did you kind of embrace always go after? I 
was just told my first time I met a linebacker coach I didn't want to go off. And that's what I did. So that's just all I knew. Was that sophomore or junior year at Oh, no, that's when I was nine years old. They were saying that Coach Walker was talking to say try to push your DN first. Oh, yeah, they did. They did try to put me at on the D line. And I ain't really like it at all because going against Logan Stenberg, you know, when it goes to Kentucky, I had to go against him in practice. It wasn't very fun, but you know, I just still do do what I was supposed to do. Is middle linebacker perfect for you? Because that's you can, you pretty much you can't really stay still. Oh yeah, it's, it's, coming right at. it's a lot better. Than D. I mean, if I was a taller dude or you know had better pass rush moves, then yeah, I go play down there. But that ain't for me down there. As, as it is, you're not the biggest, you know, inside linebacker by SEC standards. What, what is it that allows you to compete at the highest level? Would you say? Effort, I give a great effort, and um, I'm not scared of anything on this planet. I'm not scared of anybody. Uh, I just always play hard. You come out 